so today is May the 8th, 2019. And um, I'm on my lunch break. So I was just praying, meditating, thinking about life and some of the things that I've been going through, dealing with lately. And God placed a revelation on my heart. And that revelation was um, because it seems like as if I was asking God, you know, talking to God about why certain things are happening. And it seems like um, a repetitive thing in spite of my heart, me trying to live right, me trying to do right, you know. And then I just noticed a lot of things going on with my family. You know, the enemy been attacking, you know, my family and myself um, on different levels. So, you know, I was just praying and everything. And so God laid this revelation on my heart. And he was saying that um, he gave me the interpretation of the, the seven plagues with Moses and, and Pharaoh. And how Pharaoh went to, and how Moses went to Pharaoh and, and told him to let his people go. And after six attempts, this is this is the narrative God gave me. After six attempts, after God proving himself six times, after Pharaoh knew that uh, Moses was a child of God and the power of God, how Moses ignored it. He, he pretended as if it bothered him for a, a brief second and then, and then he ignored it. So God got to uh, telling me, you know, the enemy has been attacking you left and right. He has been doing things. He's been ignoring the signs. He knows that you're a child of God. He understands that. He knows that, you know, he that he, they're doing it in the wrong. But they keep on playing with fire. God has, God said, I am the only one that can get man's attention. And it doesn't matter man or situation or whatever. It doesn't matter what um it doesn't matter what per person or thing or whatever it is. God is the only one that can put that situation cease it to put silence. Because God knows the very thing that will bring man subjective into himself. So with that being said, it took the seventh time for God to uh, inflict a plague upon Pharaoh and his people. And that was to take his firstborn child. And that rocked the boat enough to get his attention to touch him to the very core. Because after all the other plagues, the flies, the the, um, the plaguing of the flies, the plaguing of the um, the animals, the plaguing of the um all of these other things what the um crops and all of that you know being destroyed all of the all the plagues god sent his way it rocked him so basically god touched pharaoh's finances god touched pharaoh's um livelihood his um and all those things but it took god to touch his family his child in order for him to in order for god to get his attention so I said all that to say for anybody out there, no matter how many times the devil has come up against you and you have prayed about that thing and it is, it is bothering you and you like, God, okay, I can't take no more. God, when are you going to let up? I done prayed about it. I done prayed about it. It keeps attacking. It keeps doing this. Uh, my children ain't doing right. My husband ain't doing right. My finances don't seem to be doing right. I'm paying my tithes. You know, no matter how many times you have prayed to God about a particular situation, people on your job bothering you, whatever it may be, I'm just here to tell you that don't give up. Don't don't try to get vengeance on your own. Don't try to handle the fix on your own. But keep going back to God. God will open up doors like never before. God will touch a person's heart like never before. Only God can fix and rectify the situation. So I say that, that to say 
leave it in God's hands. If you prayed about it, keep praying about it. Keep going back to God for answers. Keep going back and looking to God. God, this is this is what it is. I put this before you. I done prayed about it a, a bunch of times. And Lord, I'm going to leave it at your feet. Leave it at his feet. Hold God accountable. And God will move. It might not be today. It might not be tomorrow. It might not be next week, next year. But eventually, God is going to bring that thing to pass. So be encouraged, people. Um, that was just the revelation God gave me. That was just the outcome God gave me to say, don't don't think God has forgotten about you. Don't think God has forgotten about your prayer. If it took Moses seven times to finally get an answer, um, you are not alone. You know, sometimes we think that, okay, God has called us to a certain position. God had called Moses to free his people. So if, God, if Moses were, were to have given up after going back and back and back and saying, oh, God, well, I heard you at the bush. I know I heard you. I know I heard you, your voice. But it didn't work out the first time. It didn't work out the second time. Keep on allowing God to um, fix your situation and don't try to fix it yourself some things we don't understand but lean not to your own understanding but in all your ways acknowledge God and he will direct your path and his ways are not our ways so understand that you might not understand what's going on it might be confusing to you at the moment but if you put your faith your trust and surrender it all to God there is no way God will not show up and be the God that he is to you um and prove your enemies wrong sometimes it seems like the enemy is getting over the best of you but i promise you this god is not a man that he shall lie okay he is not a man that he shall lie or have to repent so and he don't sleep so he knows what you're going through um so that's what i just wanted to come through here and tell you i'm going ahead and end this right now be blessed and enjoy your day stay encouraged and keep the faith keep praying be persistent prayer and 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 have the faith and and then go on about your way don't even try to let that thing bother you okay all right talk to you later bye